to my YouTube channel. Kali ini gua lagi di kantor Google, teman-teman ya. Gimana di belakang gue tuh udah backgroundnya tuh lihat ini adalah kantor Google, teman-teman ya. Di sini gua mau ada acara seminar gitu, teman-teman. Dan gua sangat senang banget, spesial banget bisa datang ke kantor Google, teman-teman. Oke. Nah, nih kalian bisa lihat di belakang kalian ada tulisan Google. Tuh. Nah, ada Google ini. Dan di sini tuh harus pakai nempel dan ini ada nempel gue boy kalian bisa lihat Muhammad Azmi Fauzi ya oke dan di sini gue bisa enak banget sih tempatnya semua uh, tempatnya wow banget nah di sini gue juga nggak sendiri gue sama teman gue yang hari ini emir aja terlalu banyak pak ya emir aja emir yang yang terkenal guys oke di sini kita mau ada cara apa gelap boy kita ada cara ah. up nih sini ah. bisa kita pasang di lihat sisa ya guys aduh bisa balik nah, balik balik <laughs> balik ya balik. <laughs> nah sekarang kita akan jelajahi aja dulu uh, untuk kalian yang penasaran banget sama video gue nanti ikutin aja ikutin aja video oke okay. di sini juga pergi ke kantor Google sama abang gua. Halo, ini abang gua yang nggak pernah gua ekspos. Dan ah, gua tahu nih suara gua kedengeran atau enggak? Karena ya, kira sumpah ini enak banget tempat. Kita akan pergi keluar guys. Pintu luarnya kita akan. Gua posisinya sekarang ada di luar, ya kan di luar. Dan mereka ini lagi pada makan, ada lagi makan apa ini? Lagi makan pizza. Lagi makan apa nih? Pizza ya. Ini lagi jalan-jalan di kantor Google daerah Pacific West, teman-teman. Ya, tuh udah lihat, udah lihat. Dan ini lantai, lantai, lantai berapa nih? Lantai 45. Lantai 45. Tadi coba, tadi nggak di-vlog sih kita ya? Iya, yang pas, pas naik iya, iya. lupa ya, ini makan pizza ya kan? Ini makan pizza Oke, ini suasananya mantap sekali Dan ini ada Bang Auzan Kalau Bang, eh gila, seger banget nih kayaknya nih Minum apa tuh? Minum apa? Minum apa tuh Jan? Dia nggak denger kayaknya, capek kayaknya, lelah banget kayaknya lelah Jadi terlalu fokus Abis ngerodi, malumin aja Abis ngerodi <laughs> Jadi enak banget di sini disediain makanan gratis. Oke, sekarang kita akan masuk ke dalam. Masuk aja, Eming. Eh, kita masuk. Kapa jauhnya? Ah, ah. Ini dokter ini ada empat orang. Oh, ini ya orangnya. Susah kan itu. Ini CTO, CTO nih. Ya, oh, ini. Kita bisa lihat lah dia CTO dia. Kita. Ah, ah. CTO nya mau. Iya. Oh, oh, ini. Sekarang kita lanjut aja ya, Pak. Kita akan masuk Sekarang gue udah di dalam ruangannya guys Terus dimulai Dihukum Very interesting speaker, so that helps. He's walking me to the back. Should we 
sit here, maybe? We've got one very special chair. So somebody is donating <laughs> the chair. <laughs> <laughs> so let's... Uh, um, okay. uh, which one? Okay, one, two. Thank you. My name is Johannes. Uh, thank you for all three speakers for the great presentation. I want to ask two persons here, Grady. Um, just on your uh, presentation about uh, people, yeah, because you said always hire. <laughs> so how do you hire? Based only on their technical ability, and it, or do you hire based on their psychology trait too? Uh, so is uh, is psychology part of the person important for hiring? And for Mrs. Wollen, uh, what's the good thing that you shared before that you derive from your uh, your team? Yeah, you said that one thing that successful from for Kalapar. And what 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 is the thing? Because I want to ask about. How do you gather the enthusiasm from your team to share the idea? You get that from your team and you share it and become successful. I, I want to know what the thing is, right, first, and then how you get your team to be uh, to be enthusiastic about it. Is it because you hire specific traits from the beginning when you build a team, or you train it? Yeah, thank you, that's all. Yeah. Um, so, I guess one thing that I, I, I forget to mention, like when, when I mean always hired, uh, first of all, you always wanted to stay lean, right? Like you, you wanted to always keep the bar, you keep, keep your bar high, right? Like you don't want to hire, because yeah, as I mentioned, right, you only want to hire the A players so that A players can help you hire another A players or A plus players. Um, there's this thing called actually uh, the Bozo's Explosion Zone. That's what they call it. Like, once you hire the B player, the B player will feel insecure, so they hire C player. C player will feel insecure, so they hire D player. D player, and then go all the way to Z, right? Like, and you sooner or later you realize that your company is filled with these bozos, they call it, right? Like, so you wanted to avoid that. So you wanted to stay lean, uh, even though you're consistently always hiring. I think hiring is good. I'm like, you wanted to always call it with your vision, right? Um, so your question, right, about technical and psychological. Uh, the way I see it is actually, I'm like, we do have some certain fundamentals that we're looking for, for engineers especially, right? Like, uh, because I think, like, understanding the fundamentals is actually very, very important. Um, and so we have some certain standards, uh, like, you, you gotta pass, like, at least these kinds of things for you to be able to, like, be engineering a mocha, right? But for your second question, like, about psychology, right? Or the way I see it is more about, about character and attitude. I, I think that's so much, much, much more important than actually the technical skills. Because in our history so far, like five years, right, like I see those that have the right attitude or character can always learn the, the technical skills and they can eventually, you know, grow with us. But while those that are like super in their technical but don't have the character, they usually, you know, either, you know, you know, when there's issues, they will just quit, right? Or like, when there's problems, they will always complain and not bring in solutions, right? Like, that kind of character is not something that, you know, you wanted to be, especially when you're on the early stage. Because on the early stage, you want the hustler, right? Like you want to be the, with the people that, you know, you know, have some technical skills, right? But they can bring you solutions, right? So that's, that's uh, my answer. Sorry, uh, so the question again is, you know, what is the thing that makes yeah, that my team? Yeah, that you said it's uh, what's impactful. That you said it's a growth uh, drive can uh, make to uh, what can make successful. And how do you get to that from your team? Um, yeah, be, uh, besides these things that I've mentioned, actually the most important thing to have is to have a growth mindset. So. If you know my team in the beginning, they're still with me until today, they are just a bunch of fresh graduates. They don't know what they're doing. Even I have one person in my team, he didn't attend 
he didn't have the certificate. So it was like, you know, the first time I saw them, I was like, all right. <laughs> but then what is very important about work mindset is that you see people for not who they are, but who they are capable of becoming. So I kind of feel like everyone has potentials. And in that sense, I kind of feel like I need to unleash this potential from these people. And so that's what I, I try to do. Like, I try to, no matter, maybe, you know, like, for example, the person who doesn't have the certificate, I try to make him feel important. Like, he can contribute a lot to the company. And that's what he does. He becomes like, uh, like a, a lead in the squad now for the front end things. Yeah, so this kind of nurturance to make people believe in themselves and, you know, is ready to achieve great things is very important. And I think it's very important as well with the trust and being very open. At the beginning, I was, you know, my uh, initial reaction when ideas came, I was a bit like, Oh really? I don't think this is a good idea. You know, it's my um, initial like natural reaction. But I learned from my UX uh, guy that I couldn't do that. So I have to be very open with any kind of ideas because I we never know. Like maybe you know these ideas might not be good, but if you combine it with the other idea, that could be a brilliant ideas. So it's very important to stay open and try to be a listener. Uh, yeah, to, to understand um, what's the idea, what's their thought behind the ideas. Yeah, this try to be. What's the example in Balapa? Oh, the, the product? Yeah, yeah, what's the example? Oh, if you know Saru Saru. Oh. It is coming from my team, the idea. Oh, yeah, and it actually has been able to drive the transaction more than four times of the market transaction in Balapa. So, yeah. <laughs>
Kesepian gak sih? Enggak lah Kalau yang ini gak kesepian Kalau yang ini baru ini Ini adalah lagi lelaki kesepian Kesepian dong aja Yang satu lagi tuh Yang mana? Itu yang kesepian Jauh banget ya Oke Sekarang udah waktunya mau pulang ya Dari kantor Google Ya, pulang. Oke, sekarang jangan lupa kalian untuk like, comment, comment, and subscribe. Ya, subscribe itu gratis. Warnanya merah.